Okay then, so today we are to uh, discuss the exponential form of uh, complex uh, numbers. So basically we have our the rectangular form or the partition for this A plus uh, BI. If we are to convert this one into trigonometric form or the polar form, that is, we have R multiplied by the quantity, we have cosine of theta plus the I sine of uh, theta. So sometimes the polar form is also abbreviated as R uh, C I S of uh, theta. So the modulus cosine, the imaginary number, sine of uh, theta. And the equivalent of this complex number into uh, the exponential form, this is uh, the modulus E raised to I times uh, theta. So for example, how do we co how do we convert I have to convert an imagine a uh, or a complex number from rectangular to uh, to exponential form. For example, we have this complex number z is equal to uh, let's say we have one plus uh, i. So if we are to plot this one again, we have uh, this is on the first uh, quadrant. Uh, the value of b is equal to one. The value of a is also equal to a uh, one. So we have the tangent of a theta, or the argument, is equal to 1 over 1. Our theta is equal to 45 uh, degrees, if we have to express this one into a uh, degree. Or this is the same as our theta in region. 45 degrees in a uh, region is uh, the pi over uh, 4. Then we need the uh, modulus. So we have the modulus is equal to the square root of a squared plus a b squared. We have r is equal to the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared. So we have our r is the square root of a 2. So we have I, the complex number z is equal to I, 1 plus i is the same as the complex number r e raised to i at theta. Then I, our complex number z in exponential form that is our r that is the square root of 2 e raised to i plus our theta for example we need to express this in a uh, region this is i divided by pi over uh, 4 so this will be the exponential form of this complex uh, number I so also have more examples for uh, complex numbers uh, complex numbers in uh, exponential form. So for example, we have uh, our complex number is already in uh, the polar form. We are to convert this one to exponential form. So we have our uh, modulus is equal to 3. Then the argument theta is equal to uh, 30 uh, degrees. So all we have to do is convert this one to region. This is modified by pi divided by uh, 180 uh, degrees. So we have the argument as a uh, pi divided by uh, 6. Then we have uh, the exponential form. This is a uh, z equal to r e raised to i uh, theta. So we have the value of z. Uh, the modulus is a uh, 3. Then we have e raised to i. Uh, our argument is pi over uh, 6. So we can have uh, the exponential form as a 3 e raised to uh, pi over 6 divided by i. So this will be the exponential form of this uh, polar form of this uh, complex uh, number. So from polar form to exponential, it will be uh, easy. I mean, basically, we are just copying some of the uh, data, the, the modulus and the argument. But for this case, uh, I just have another case. For example, we have a z is equal to a 5 multiplied by the quantity of cosine of 60 degrees. This is minus i. And minus i, the sine of a 60 degrees. So basically, we can uh, conclude that the modulus is equal to 5. Alright? But okay, we cannot directly conclude that our argument will be a uh, 60 degrees. For a reason, I okay, can observe this one. I okay, can okay, observe the operation. This is addition and uh, subtraction. So we cannot conclude directly that our argument is 60 degrees. We need to apply some of the identities for cosine and sine to modify these uh, terms. So okay, this form is a z equal to by the modulus multiplied by we have the cosine of theta minus i the sine of a theta. 
Okay, so let us use some of the identities for cosine and cosine. So, one identity for cosine of theta is basically called the cosine of negative theta. Okay? Then we have the sine of theta is also equal to negative uh, sine of negative uh, theta. So, if we are to substitute this equivalent, just to have this operation or adi an addition operation, we have now z equal to r, this is multiplied by what is the equivalent of cosine of theta, that is the cosine of negative uh, theta. Then we have minus i, what is the equivalent of sine of theta, that is negative uh, sine of negative uh, theta. So if we are to simplify this one, the, the value of z is equal to r, this is multiplied by cosine of negative theta, so negative multiplied by negative, it will be addition plus i, I uh, sine of negative theta. So this is the equivalent of this, of this uh, term, so this term is the uh, same as this one. So z equal to r, and so what is the cosine of theta minus i sine theta is the same as z equal to the modulus multiplied by the quantity cosine of negative theta plus i sine of negative of theta. So this is the same as 5. Okay, multiplied by cosine of negative 60, or right, this time addition, i sine of negative uh, 60. So therefore, we can now conclude that our argument should be negative 60 degrees. So it should be negative 60 degrees. We can have it as in radians, uh, multiplied by pi divided by 180 degrees, and this is equal to, uh, this is a negative pi over uh, 3. So we have, uh, let's have the exponential form, c is equal to r, e raised to i of theta, this is, alright, the modulus is a 5 e i, our theta this time is negative pi over a 3. So we have the exponential form z equal to 5 e raised to negative pi over 3 multiplied by i. And this will be our answer. So let's have this example. For example, we are required to determine uh, the roots of a given complex number, but uh, using the exponential form. So let's first add uh, this uh, complex number in exponential form. This is okay, the tangent of theta. So both are positive. This is on the upper uh, quadrant. Uh, 4 square root of 2 divided by 4 square root of 2. That makes the argument equal to 45 degrees or uh, pi over uh, 4. Then we have for uh, the modulus, this is the square root of, we have 4 square root of 2 squared plus 4 square root of 2 squared. So you have the value of the modulus is, okay, so this is 16 times 2 since the square root n, a square will be cancelled out. So that is 16 times 2, 32 plus 32, that is the square root of 64 and this is, right, 8. So we have okay, the complex number in exponential form z equal to r e raised to i of theta. We have z equal to a e raised to i divided by pi over uh, 4. So this is the equivalent of this complex number but in the exponential form. If you are to take the roots, uh, the roots of a complex number in the exponential form, this is the same as a z. Uh, raised to 1 over n is equal to we have r e raised to i theta raised to 1 over n this will be the same as the nth root of the modulus multiplied by e raised to i this time we have the argument plus i our angle should be in radians so this is multiplied by 2 pi uh, plus 2 pi multiplied by k divided by i is divided by uh, n Wherein again we have a k is equal to 0, 1, a 2, up to n minus 1. As you can see, this concept is uh, very similar from the uh, polar form. How to determine the roots of a complex number in a polar form. We are just copying some of the uh, details. 
So for this one, so we have the complex number, we are looking for the cube root of this complex number. We are expecting three roots. This is the cube root of 8. I multiplied by E, I, what is our angle? That is the argument pi over 4. K plus uh, 2 pi multiplied by K, this is divided by uh, cube root divided by 3. So since we are expecting 3 roots, we are using uh, K is equal to 0, K is equal to 1, and uh, K is equal to uh, 2. So we have to do this, substitute the value of k in this equation, then we can have the uh, roots. So we have the first one, that is at k is equal to 0, this is for the first, okay, the first root. So for the first root, this is, what is the cube root of a, that is the same as a 2, multiplied by e, i, this is, so that is the same as pi over 4 plus 2 pi times uh, 0, makes it 0 all over uh, 3. So this is the same as pi over 4 divided by 3 is pi over uh, 12. So therefore we have the first uh, root as 2e raised to uh, pi over 12 multiplied by i. So this is the, and that will be the first uh, root. Then for the second root, this is at k is equal to 1. So second root is equal to cube root of 8 is 2e raised to i. This is the same as what is pi over 4? That will be pi over 4 plus this time 2 pi times k is equal to 1, 2 pi times 1 over uh, 3. So this is divided by 3, we'll be having 3 fourths. This is 3 over 4 of a uh, pi. So you have the second root, this is now 2e raised to i, or raised to uh, 3 over 4 of pi times i. That will be our, okay, the second, okay, the second root. Then for the third root, this is at k is equal to 2. So again, what is the cube root of 8? This is 2e raised to i, that is the same as pi over 4. A plus 2 pi, uh, this time 2 pi multiplied by, uh, multiplied by 2, then all over uh, 3. So this is the same as uh, the 17 over uh, 12 of uh, pi. So we have the third root as 2e raised to 17 over 12 of pi multiplied by pi. So these are the roots. And the rest of this complex number, but this time I in exponential form.